Hi family, this is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy. And I am a colon hydrotherapist that practices the art of internal detoxification through the use of colon hydrotherapy, herbs, and natural living. And today's video is about answering the question that I get asked often throughout my day through DMs, text messages, emails, verbal, and vice versa. And the question is, what can you recommend for fibroids? What can you recommend for cancer? What can you recommend for acne? What can you recommend for hair growth? What can you recommend for my teeth falling out? What can you recommend? What can you recommend? Fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks. So if you follow me at all, you will know and understand that I do not provide um, on-site recommendations, especially for individuals that I have no idea who they are, what they do, what they have been taking internally as far as medication or food or anything like that without a consultation. I just don't operate like that. I don't operate my business like that. And I always educate my clients to understand that you should not operate on that realm either. There is no one-all quick fix peel that you can take that will shift things around accordingly. The reason why you are experiencing whatever it is that you're experiencing with your health, and I understand that this is a very hard pill to swallow, is because of the habits that you have every day. So if you are not being so easy or gentle with yourself or paying attention to what you put in your mouth, and all of a sudden you have this crazy fibroid, it's a direct result from what you have or have not been doing, period. There's no other way around it. Things just don't grow in the body. They grow in the body because they're being fed by whatever you're putting in your mouth, on your skin, or emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Whatever you're digesting emotionally in your world, whatever you're digesting spiritually in your world, and whatever you're putting in your mouth and on your skin creates a total sum of who you are right now. And I cannot express that enough. So there is not a one thing that will help you shift things around. It's an accumulation of what you do from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. But to answer the question in short, in short, what I would like to recommend is that you focus on your five channels of elimination. Women have five, men have four. The four channels that both men and women have are your colon, kidney, lung, skin, and then the fifth for women is our uterus. I'll repeat that one more time. The four channels that both men and women have are your colon, kidney, lung, skin, and then the fifth for women is our uterus. If you focus on those four or five organs every day, and you give those five or four organs the attention that they need, it is almost literally impossible for you to become sick or ill or have any type of disease in the body because you are consciously focusing on those four or five channels of elimination. So what I'm going to do is give you some information on how to do that along with herbs and all that good stuff. So we're going to start with the colon. Spring water or water in general. Drink water. In order for your colon to be activated and to work properly, it needs water. So out the gate, drink more water. And not necessarily a gallon. It's, it's more so along the lines of how you drink the water. And if you follow me, I highly recommend that you go back to the video that highlights how to consume water. I go very much into detail about that. I'm not going to go into detail about it today on this video because I've done a very extensive video about how to drink water in another video. So please check that out. Um, the herbs that you want to take to strengthen the colon, a really good herbal laxative. I use CKLS from Dr. Goss in Compton. He is one of my mentors for a very long time, and I highly recommend his products. His products are fabulous. CKLS actually stands for the four channels of elimination, which are the colon, kidney, lung, skin. C-K-L-S. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. So I highly recommend that you try that herbal laxative for the colon. Moving on to the kidneys. Water. Drink water. Spring water. It's not difficult. Sip on water like you're sipping on wine throughout the entire day. You won't have any issues with the kidneys. A herb that's going to help you with that 
Cranberry juice. Oh, very simple. Yes, drink cranberry juice. You'll be good to go. A-okay. Moving on to the lungs. Spring water. Drink water. Very, very simple. Increase your water intake. Sip on your water like you're sipping on wine. Let it sit on your mouth. Let it marinate. You'll be good to go. Another herb that's going to help the lungs is an herb called mullein. M-U-L-L-I-E-N. Mullein breaks up congestion and mucus and all that good stuff. It moves it out the body, but you need moisture to move the waste out the system. <gasps> Spring water. Drink the water. Moving to the skin. Water. Drink water. Spring water. Spring water. Drink water to keep your skin clear and easy out the gate. If you need a little bit more of additional help, aloe vera juice is my go-to. I love aloe vera juice. I drink it all the time. Aloe vera juice in your water. What, Mo? Put the aloe vera juice in your water? Yes. Drink it, drink it, drink it. Moving to the uterus. Water. Spring water. Drink water. Drink water. You'll be good. If you need additional herbs to help you with that, Damiana and black cohosh is amazing at supplying your uterus exactly what it needs and to help it filter and move and break up any adhesions, congestions, fibrosis, tumors within reason. So that is my simple recommendation for can you recommend dot, dot, dot. Can you recommend dot, dot, dot. Can you recommend dot, dot, dot. Yes, I can. Spring water. Drink water. Spring water. Drink water. Spring water, drink water, spring water, drink water. I'm just saying, it's a perfect start. But if you want to go deeper into having a conversation about your very specific ailment, your very specific disease that you have been challenged with for a little while, let's say more than a year, then you need to sit down and pay for a consultation. You owe your body that much. You only have one body and two sets of teeth. The third one is going to cost you dearly. So with that being said, my loves, please take this with a grain of salt. Use what you can. Discard the rest. If you have any questions or would like to reach out to me, moyabodycare.com, 562-682-0818. Thank you.